Bill Harlock, one of the deputants on the field for the Wolves this afternoon. Harlock again, great skills. Now Wollongong pressing, this could be a chance, it is! It's the first goal for Wollongong, Matt Horsley. Seven minutes of play, and that goal really came out of nothing. United, just falling asleep at the back, watching their opponents, Horsley with lots of space in front of him. Calat's beat, 1-0 Wollongong. Chad Gibson, long ball drill, it's just there, this could be an equaliser, it is! Oh, what a classic finish for David Drillich. Wonderful football, and the perfect reply. Beautiful set piece for United. Milicic, the ball, a beautiful cross, Drillich. And look at that, pinpoint accuracy, 1-1. Anthony Surgeon, one of Wollongong's new boys, one of four out there this evening. Here's Redder. Three Wollongong players in the middle. It falls 4-7. Chips tries to and there is another goal. It is indeed. Well, this is remarkable. Sunny seven. Two goals to one. And Nick Theodorakopoulos promised us that his side would provide a lot of competitive football. And they're really doing it to Sydney United this afternoon. 2-1, 15 minutes of play gone. Boy, boy. And ball. And Stephen Laybutt has done so well this afternoon. Represented New South Wales under 20 team in the tour of Korea during the offseason, but this time receives a yellow card for his troubles. And a perfect opportunity here for Sydney United to level things up. Brett Hughes and the Wolves under a lot of pressure here. And off the post. Not a bad effort, this time again off the post. Well, United cannot believe their luck. Extraordinary. Well, Brett Hughes got his hands to it initially, and the ball rebounding off the upright. Somehow, United managed to get the ball in and cleared off the line in the end. Now, some tense moments for the goalkeeper. United looking for an equaliser. Up it goes. Brett Hughes off his line. The clearance must be made now. It's not. It's a goal. 2-2. Two -two. And Wollongong hesitated. Great goal. And when you hesitate against United, you get punished. The ball went high. Brett Hughes came rushing off his line. You can see him. Well, he's behind the referee here. That was the error. The clearance wasn't made there. Which makes it two goals apiece. Here's Perinich for the Wolves. And a heavy challenge there from Brickage. And I think this deserves a yellow. In fact, he will be cautioned and booked. And Brickage acknowledging the referee. Very late challenge there. Sunny seven. Nice delivery for Mike Redder. And equally a perfect delivery here for Horsley. He's already scored one. And he's put away a second. That is a wonderful goal. Matt Horsley puts up two fingers to say, that's my second. It's Wollongong's third. And look at the celebration. A wonderful goal. It went from one end of the park to the other, diagonally across field. Horsley outpaced Belokopic. And look at the way he slots the ball past Kalads. 3-2 Wollongong. Well 
Popovich here. Chance here. Oh, great save from Hughes. Well, Brett Hughes, just when the Wollongong side needed him most, delivered the goods from right in front. That was Marusic. Well, Nick Theodorakopoulos just hanging on and hoping that his team will provide the desired result. It's a yellow card though, and a red card. Joe Vrikic is given his marching orders. Well, sensational, the first game of the season. Joe Vrikic has given his opportunity from the coach in the first team. And he's let the team down. Second bookable offence. The referee called it. David Drillic. They can't afford to lack or fall into a lull here, Wollongong. Chips the ball. And it's a corner. Wollongong have got to employ percentage football, not do anything flash. It's all out defence for Wollongong. Can they hang on? Nine minutes left. United down by a goal. Well, this is dangerous, and there's the equaliser. Milicic strikes. And look at the determination on the United striker's face. Well, the substitution was made for Wollongong. Attacker for defender. The ploy didn't work. Lots of error as far as the Wolves are concerned. And now the scoreline reads 3-3. Popovich, nice turn. It's all over though. Six goals in 90 minutes, an encouraging performance so from Wollongong. The league's easy beats last season have shown enough tonight to suggest that they will be a force in 96-97 to put away three goals against one of the league's glamour clubs in Sydney United. A wonderful exhibition of football from both sides, although the defence from both sides somewhat suspect. Nonetheless, an entertaining game at the Sydney United Sports Ground. Full-time score, Sydney United 3, Wollongong City 3. And our apologies for the audio quality in that uh, coverage. And few outside Wollongong, though, would have expected Zalko Kalats to be picking the ball out of his own net three times. But as Sydney United coach Branko Chulida mused, the shot might just be the thing to bring his players back to earth. In any event, congratulations to the Wolves for their enterprising play. Starts with a free kick just inside their own half. And the good coaching points here, again, is if the, you can't go forward, Perinic, uh, Perinic holding the ball up well here. If you can't go forward, we'll come back and start again. They don't lose their composure. They just, uh, when they can't find a way through, we try another avenue. We switch the play to the other side of the field. We even go backwards at times. And then when the opportunity arises, we start to go forward. Again, holding it up when you can't go forward. And then Michael Retta, who is going to be a very key player, one feels, for Wollongong this year. That's the type of thing he can do. The ball to the byline, the area where it's uh, almost unstoppable to, for any defence, if you can get to the byline and cross. And they're an excellent uh, cross from seven, and Josefsky putting the ball away. Now, on first appearance, uh, you could probably uh, have a go at uh, Zelko Kalitz here for not coming out, but the quality of the ball in, how to cross the ball tantalising, just curves away, just has Kalitz in two minds and beautifully put away. But terrific to see Wollongong playing, not only getting a result yesterday and a deserved one, but playing good.